Okay, so in this video, um, Jazz had a bath yesterday. And so I'm going to show how I basically shaved down the sides to keep them blended. So uh, he was literally scruffy and looking homeless. So <clears throat> here, I'll show you the before. Hold on. Stay right there. Up. Oh. No, 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 no. This way. Stay. So on this side is where his hair looks like he literally has wings on the side. So his back is done to a certain length and then where his hair or his coat becomes longer. Um, and mind you, there is no undercoat. I take all that out. So that's literally just his top coat that has grown long like that. But it looks like he has wings. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna show you what I do in order to get it to be blended. So on the other side, so you can even see it. So on the other side, it is actually blended. Stay. It is actually blended. Hold on. Stand up. Stand over here. Stay. Stay. So it is actually blended with no wings as if it actually just grew that way. Stay, Jazz. So uh, I'm going to show the scissors and the clippers and everything that I do use in order to get that particular cut so that way your dog's coat will flow. So these are the whale clippers that I use. I recently got these a few months ago. Uh, I was using some others. I like these because it has less vibration. It's really, really quiet so it doesn't startle a dog. And um, they have like a competition series clipper right here at the top. Uh, just pops off and then they have these guards which work really, really well to be able to get the different lengths that you want. Down, Jess. Uh, down lengths that you want in order to uh, get the dog's coat right where you want it before you start using your scissors. So that's first and foremost to dial in where you want to be. Uh, secondly, always got to have your brush so that way you can pull out your cut hair. These are the scissors I use, they're curves. Um, I've had really good success. These are not expensive scissors. I've actually had expensive scissors before. And my hands always go back to my cheap ones. Um, I think I may have spent 30 bucks for these. And then these even less. Um, and these are your thinners. So these are my tools of the trade. And um, gotten a lot of success with it. I basically cut the hair in the direction I want with my scissors. And the way that it grows to get the curvature. Especially around the paws. And then my thinners to blend the hair as if. And give you that look as I just showed you earlier as if the hair actually grows that way. So what you want to do basically is go and cut in the direction of the hair. You go after that, you go after the dark line basically. And you'll see the dark line start to disappear. I'm holding my uh, my phone, usually I would have my brush in my other hand so that way I can take the cut hair out of the way. Basically what these uh, scissors do, stop Jazz, you always want to make sure your dog does not fold the spot that you're actually cutting. So what you actually want to do is literally, I don't know if you can see that, hold on a second, stop. So basically you want to cut it and as you see it's not that much of a bold line, you just see a darkness and then long hair start. So we haven't done the back here and it's more of a fold, almost like a wave at the beach. Right here you can see it's completely flat. Right here, you can still see where the hair literally creates like a, uh, a bump or a line right here. And right here is very thin. So you continue that process until you see it actually thinning out and, uh, and become blended, just like how we did the other side. I'm going to continue doing this side, and then uh, I'm going to show you what I do with the clippers. Okay, that is the amount I literally just cut off this particular area. As you can see now, it's literally just blended, it falls. So now what I want to do is come back with my clippers with the uh, lowest guard so that way it blends it that much more. Hold on a second. Okay, so what we're going to do here is literally blend this. Just the small hairs that were on, actually on the top surface that didn't get cut by the scissors. And you can see just a little bit of fall, but that's the part that literally gives you that wave look like it's popped up and it's not falling naturally. 
and again you don't want to I'm not using the actual well I'm sorry about that you guys I'm not using the actual guard because I'm actually paying attention I'm looking at the clippers and I'm looking through the phone so I got to see how the hair falls when I cut so uh, basically you don't want to use the actual depth of the guard itself in order to cut otherwise it will go uh, too deep into the hair it won't fade and then you'll have a, another line so what happens is again it's just a little bit because you're just let's see if I can get you're literally just creating a flat surface as you cut the hair ah oh. anyway <laughs> you're literally just creating a flat surface as you're cutting the hair Like so. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like on both sides in the sunlight completely done. But basically it's flat. I'm just going to touch it up. And so it looks like an expanded version. I'm just going to touch it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we have Jazz even on both sides. And uh, we started out doing this side. Excuse me, this side was done already. So what we did was this right side. Stay jazz. Up. Turn around. Stay. Stay. So this is the side that was completed. Stay. Stay jazz. This is the side that was completed. And we had just cut. As you can see, it looks even. And uh, Jazz is obsessed with shadows, and so that's why his head constantly stays down. He's looking for reflections and whatnot. It's just kind of.